seven rotating systems. Part one, we're dealing with angular displacement and angular velocity. There are two types of motion. One is called translational motion, which is the one you are familiar with. And the other one is rotational motion, which is new to you. It says here, translational motion can be in a straight line, like this billet ball here, or in a circle, like this bucket here. And the center of mass of the object, both the billet ball and the bucket, moves, as is obvious. Now, translational motion is spinning movement around a center of mass. In pure rotation, rotational motion, the center of mass does not move, very important. Difference between circular motion and rotational motion of the Earth. As the Earth goes around the Sun, it has two types of motion. First of all, circular motion, it goes around the Sun. Secondly, it has a rotational motion spinning about its own axis. Pure translation and pure rotation. This is pure translation, where a force acts through the center of mass of this object to cause this object to move forward, but it does not make this object rotate or spin. If this force is off-center, say this way, then it will cause this object to spin like this. Here we have a force couple acting on the object. The force couple consists of a pair of equal and opposite forces, and that will cause this object to rotate or spin this way, but it does not cause the object to move forward. For rotational motion, we are dealing with angles. So firstly, angular displacement. Angular displacement, theta, which is the one in theta, is measured in radians. Now we have to get used to radians instead of angles. So there is a simple relationship. The angle theta is simply equal to the d, which is the length of the arc, d, divided by the length of the radius. When the arc length d is equal to the radius r, then the angle is one radian, as shown here. The example here says a bicycle wheel turns to four and a half revolutions. If the wheel has a radius of 40 centimeters, what distance does a point on the rim travel? So to solve the problem, we had to rearrange this formula to make it look like this. And, you are, and really you are asked to find d, which is the length of the arc. Make sure theta is in radians. Four and a half turns times two pi radians. Two pi radians is simply the angle for one complete revolution. The answer is 11 meters. Angular velocity describes how fast an object is rotating. The formula is omega equal to theta divided by t. Compared to this familiar formula that you all know, v equal to d over t. Instead of v, you have omega. Instead of d, you have theta. Angular velocity and translational velocity are related to each other by this formula. v is the velocity along the length of the arc, and omega is angular velocity. Here we have an example where an aircraft propeller rotates at a speed of 4,000 revs per minute, and has a radius of 0.8 meters. You have to find out the angular velocity of the propeller and the linear speed of the tip of the propeller blade. These are the answers. Not too hard. Just a matter of getting used to it.